I've heard this story. Mary lived in a small town and one night when she was sitting down praying to God, an angel appeared out of nowhere and said to her that you will have a baby and his name will be called Jesus. Jesus. An angel told them that they were gonna have a baby. Like, it predicted the future, because angels can do that. Like, they know orders from God. The angel told her that she had a baby. Mary is getting visited by an angel named Gabriel. And Gabriel tells her that he's that she's gonna have a baby. But Mary is really scared and and Gabriel tells her, don't be afraid. You must name him Jesus. The angel is telling Mary that she's going to have a baby. She's gonna have a baby and has to name it Jesus. Mary says, how can this be? And then, and then Gabriel says, with God, all things are possible. The angel said, don't worry, it will happen. And your cousin Elizabeth will have a baby too, named John. Nothing is impossible with God. And then Gabriel is telling um, Joseph that they're gonna have a baby. Joseph had a dream where an, where an angel said that he should marry that he should marry Mary. <laughs> so he did as the angel told him to. The leader said they had to go back to their hometown in Bethlehem where, where they can get counted for the census. And when you do that, you have to pay your taxes too. Caesar wanted to tax everyone? They had to travel back to their hometown and pay the taxes. To pay their taxes and become part of the census. Um, they're Mary's, to Bethlehem. Mary's pregnant, so they're going to Bethlehem. And they had to pay their taxes because they, well, had taxes. So later on, they had to go to Bethlehem. They had to go to, uh, what's his name? Abraham? Bethlehem. Bethlehem. They went to Bethlehem. Bethlehem. <laughs> they went to Bethlehem. Mary and Joseph went to Bethlehem. Do they have any cars? Joseph is walking and she's riding. They ride all the way to Bethlehem. Mary ride on a donkey. They were riding on a donkey to go to Bethlehem so Mary could have some a place to stay where they could have the baby. When they got there, they had nowhere to go. And they both tried to find a house so the baby could be born in a warm and cozy home. They're trying to find a hotel. I couldn't find a hotel. They found a farmhouse with a bunch of animals. They built a haven, so then that's where the baby Jesus can go when they're born. But they couldn't find any house that had room for them. So they found a not warm, but perfect enough stable for baby Jesus to be born in. So they tried to find a room but there wasn't a room open, so they just had so they had to stay in a barn. And built a little hay carriage. Hay bin. Hay bin. And then they saw these animals and this the place and it had space. And so they had the baby in there. Um Mary um was about to have her baby, but the ends were all filled up. So, so she had her baby in like a firm place, and she and she just and she just put her baby in like a hay thing. Like I don't know what it's called. Chamber. Manger. 
And then, soon enough, the baby Lord Jesus was born. They have baby Jesus. His name was Jesus. And then Jesus was born in the manger. She gave birth to Jesus, and they named him Jesus. When they got to, to have baby Jesus, God's child, Baby Jesus was in the crib inside. They did. A lot of space with the animals down and the goats looking and the cows looking at the baby. <laughs> they wrapped him up in this piece of cloth that would keep him warm because it because it was cold. There were shepherds in their fields. My little bee's legs to turn the sheep. Weren't they like with the sheep? Yeah, I remember that. That we saw something in the sky. Uh, angel. The shepherds were in a field. And, and they saw a bright light. That was super bright. And they saw an angel too. And then an angel is going to talk to them too. So, so Jesus is born. The shepherds are watching over their sheep, and the uh, angel comes down and like shines like this light on them. And then they're scared. Yeah. So the angel went to the shepherds and said, "Don't be afraid. I bring good news and good tidings to all." And said, "Glory be peace." And like, like, good baby. Okay, I give, I give I you give good, good tidings, tidings of great, great joy. joy. The angel said that there will be a savior, Christ the Lord, born tonight. Follow the star, and you will find him wrapped in cloth. The a uh, bright, 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 bright light. And a lot of angels too. So a bunch of angels came and they sang about. Baby Jesus. Glory to God. So obviously the shepherds um let's go see baby Jesus. And the other two shepherds said, uh, hey, maybe we should go take it up. We need to go see him. The shepherds went to see baby Jesus. They found Jesus, Jesus in, in the manger. Then they saw a little baby. And they were like Yay, yay! Look, it's King Jesus, yay! They were all so happy and it was such a good time. And they spread it in the news to other people. I don't remember yeah, and that. They were on camels. I don't remember that. A very wise man. I don't know how they get there. They follow a star. Just the wise men followed the stars. It was Jesus' star. They <laughs> followed a star all the way to that one. There, there were three wise men that saw a star, and the star, the star meant that there was a newborn king, so they were following it to find him. Three wise men followed the star of what they thought led to baby Jesus. There was, there was a mean king. king. Ooh, the big mean king. And they stopped by the King Herod's place. Palace. They asked, where is the newborn king? The, the King Herod said, I want to worship him too. Little did they know that he didn't want to worship him. He just wanted to get rid of baby Jesus. Because he wanted to stay king. People get selfish. Yes, people do. So the wise men followed the star and finally got arrived at the stable and they met Mary and Joseph. And so they went to go see him to worship him. And they kneeled down to worship him. Then they opened up the gifts they had for him. Who brought baby Jesus presents? The three wise men were giving the gifts to Jesus. Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. 
and they like got him gold so he can like, go buy stuff and his, so his parents could go buy stuff for him and yeah. One night when the, all the wise men and everybody was asleep, an angel popped up in one of in the wise men's dreams and told him not to go back to King Herod. Or else he will get like super duper mad. And the angel came down and said, no, no, no. So they did as the angel told them and went to a different path home. So they didn't go back to tell King Harold or Herod. No, it was Herod. They didn't go back to tell King Herod and instead they went on because they're good souls and their souls are filled with kindness and joy and they want to worship baby Jesus. And Joseph had another dream with, when the angel came. Saying that they needed to leave to keep, to keep the baby safe. Joseph and Mary took baby, to to took baby Jesus and went to Egypt to avoid being captured. For King Herod wants to destroy baby Jesus. So they packed up all their stuff. They escaped to Egypt. So the angel told them to go to Egypt. Were the Egypt people nice? They did and they were safe. Maybe Jesus grew up. Um, guess he grew up. Jesus grew up and he, he became the Messiah. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! Merry Christmas, everybody.